Welcome to the week that was in manufacturing, where myself and members of TM's editorial team sit down to discuss and dissect some of the biggest stories coming out of the UK manufacturing sector this week. Joining me again this week is TM's web editor, Johnny Williamson. Johnny, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Let's jump into our first piece, uh, and that is the latest manufacturing advisory service barometer. Uh, released this week, uh, Johnny, I guess the big news to come out of this report was the old chestnut of productivity. We haven't quite cracked it, have we? Yeah, not according to the survey, no. Um, it found that more than four-fifths, around 84% of SMEs indicated that they'd need to improve their productivity over the coming months to, to really achieve their growth plans. Um, now, that's slightly up on the 80% reported at the beginning of the year. Um, and according to Mass, it really highlights the need for SMEs to take action now in an effort to try and boost their efficiencies, um, try and reduce waste and maximise the potential of their workforce and machinery. And it paints an interesting picture when we, when we look at sales that are reported in, in, in the survey as well. These, these two things, sales and productivity, they seem to work in contrast. Um, so, for example, productivity, while it's remaining low, sales, sales are up. Um, I think it was over 55% mm. of respondents said that they had seen sales grow in the past six months. Yeah, indeed, with 70% also indicating they've got plans for expansion. Um, and the number of SMEs looking to recruit has jumped from 50% in March to 55% in, in June. So ultimately, what these figures show is that there's been some uncertainty over the past quarter, but UK manufacturers, they're rising to the challenge. They're, they're looking to improve, um, take on more staff and expand their operations. And speaking of growth, our friends up in Sheffield at Sheffield Forge, Forge Masters, uh, they're seeing some of their own growth and, and taking on some really interesting projects as well. That's right. Um, the company's just completed a continuous molten steel port that clocks in at 607 tonnes. So a casting of that size is likely, they say, to take upwards of six weeks to cool. That has to be some kind of record, surely. Yeah, it's Sheffield Forge Masters' biggest ever port. And it's the fifth in a series of 11 huge castings for the company, um, which is another landmark. It was a £12 million contract with the German firm SMS Mir. Mm. And finally, heading just a little bit further south down to Coventry uh, and the MTC, they're looking for some collaboration partners, specifically in the UK aerospace sector. Yeah, they're, um, they're seeking potential associates for its National Aerospace Technology Exploitation Programme. So that's an initiative which aims to try and help companies improve the quality of their R&D and their engineers. And it should tie into the opening of MTC's new Aerospace Research Centre, um, which is going to open later on this year. And what about the backing for this project? I believe that uh, most of it comes off, what was it, a, a £15.2 million investment from uh, the Aerospace Technology Institute uh, through the government's high value manufacturing catapult. Was it Innovate UK? Yeah, that's right. And it's also been uh, match funded by industry as well. Um, so the UK is, is definitely a world leader in aerospace and its projects and initiatives like this, which hopefully will not only help, um, help maintain that position, but it's really going to um, blaze a trail for the rest of the world to follow. Absolutely brilliant. Johnny, thank you so much for joining us again, again today. Uh, and don't forget that you can read about all of the stories we've discussed today as well as a lot more at themanufacturer.com. The links for these stories will be in the information box below. And, and make sure that you stay up to date with all the manufacturing news by following the manufacturer on Twitter, at The Manufacturer. Uh, and just on a final note, we would like to extend an invitation to all UK manufacturers uh, to get their entries in for the TMMX Awards. Uh, entries close on the 30th of June. We've got a range of categories to display the absolute best that there is in UK manufacturing. So we'll have a link for that below as well. Make sure you get your entries in before, as I said, the 30th of June. And thank you once again for joining us. That was the week that was in manufacturing.